what's up everybody this is Lagoji Lopez Lupus the <laughs> yeah I've had it's been a long day all right I know it's been a while since I've done one of these been thinking about what I wanted to talk about and it didn't you know just primarily happen while I was going through some of my old stuff making decisions about my life etc and then it came to me I need to talk to y'all about poly relationships. Now, all of this is my opinion, so it is what it is. Thing is, a poly relationship, whether it is a pure sexual relationship or whether it is merely a dom sub relationship or whatever, gentlemen, be careful. I cannot stress that enough. Be careful. Because it all starts out fun and games. You know, masters, you think, oh, well, I'm getting my cake and eating it too. We, as human beings, are hardwired. You know, for a single mate. I know a lot of people will say, oh, well, that's just a biological construct, or, oh, I'm allowing social norms and mores to askew my views. I am, after all, a social scientist. But remember, when you're alone, you have no worries. When you're with one other person, you have... You have a group of two, and then you can achieve a balance. When you have a group of three, you have an outsider. And that right there is where everything starts to go bad. You can try the best you can to hold the boundaries and make both people completely equal. And if you believe that one, if you believe the fact that everything will always remain equal and nobody will get their feelings hurt, allow me to introduce you to the Easter Bunny later on. Somebody always gets hurt. People will try for the longest time to make it work, but with a married couple, the extra girl or extra guy will always try to do something to increase their standing. And that can lead, at best, it can lead, at best, with the third person leaving. Third person leaves, and the marriage stays strong, but there's always that doubt. There's always that problem where, where the one that's being duplicated, you know, if it's I'm just going to use it as for males, because obviously I'm a guy. I'm not proving it to y'all, I'm a guy. You know, you're the guy, you have two women. Your regular partner is going to, she might not ever state it, but it will always be in the back of her mind. What is wrong with me to where I am not enough? What's wrong with me? Do I not satisfy him in some way? Why does he have to go outside of our relationship to find somebody else? It happens. It always happens. It's happened to me before. But we won't get into that. If it's three single people, you'll always you will have the inherent jealousy. You know, oh, well, you did this with me, but you did that with her. And this has more inherent, you know, what you did with her has more inherent worth. What's up with that? And it will always become a fight. Oh, you moan differently with her. Oh, you do this with her and not with me. It's a fucking headache. All right. There's a reason that very few cultures do this nowadays. 
Well, many cultures in the East do it. Now, it even happened for a while in in America with the Mormon community. And people say, oh, well, this, that, and the other, it's not that cool. And whatever. You know, you can watch Big Love to see a full poly relationship. Or you can watch Sister Wives, which is another show that dramatizes polyamory. Or you can just kick yourself in the balls repeatedly and save yourself the headache. But the thing is, in a polyamorous relationship, you will always have somebody that's on the outs. You always will. And if you're the one on the outs, it feels horrible. I've been that third person also. I've been the person in the married relationship. I've done a lot of this. And that's just with the pure sex. You have two submissives that are trying to do it. They will always be jockeying for who is closer. Always jockeying. That's a nightmare. It becomes, well, who lo You know, well, he loves me more. Well, I do more for him. Well, if you can make it work, more power to you. God bless you. For me, all it seems like is you want your cake, you're going to eat it too. And you're just going to enjoy all the benefits of being single while being in a steady relationship. It's a nightmare. If I can give you any recommendations, stay the hell away from it. Alright? Those are about all my thoughts on the matter, so take it easy, rate, subscribe, all that other crap right here. Peace. Mm -hmm.